What up, Yellow Belly Nation? TMF here with Madden 13, the demo. And I basically want to give you guys my review and some tips on what I think. I am feeling this demo. This is a great demo. If Madden 13 is going to be like this, this is going to be a great year. Um, I think this game is it's going to be more like... It, 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 it feels like it's the best of Madden 12 and the best of NCAA 13. Like, um, you can um, do all my tips... From NCAA 13 that I've done, they work in Madden 13 so far as the demo. And then stuff like slot streaks, um, some other stuff that worked in Madden 12, they work in Madden 13 as well. So I believe it's the best of both worlds, which is going to be great on offense. Um, quick tip. First off, quick tip. What you want to do on the demo is pause the game, go to settings, go to game option, and you want to turn off accelerated clock. This way you get to play the game for a little bit longer. Um, also turn off auto strafe and the strategy packs quick links if you want to or whatnot. I think I keep that on. I'm not sure. I, I keep forgetting. But um, yeah, one thing I like to do is turn off that accelerated clock. That way you get to play the demo for a little bit longer. Um, yeah. Um, on The things I don't like as far as you being able to move the linebackers into the A-gap if they move back. I really don't like that. I like, I mean, look at this. I mean, I, I like the fact that they can return this ball. This is probably my second or third return on kickoff. Um, I think they did a good job on that. So it makes you want to almost kick the ball, goon kick it, or kick it high or something like that. Go back to the Madden 11, or, or that Madden 10 where you kick the ball very high to the tight end. <laughs> Kicking system, I preferably like last last year's kicking system but I guess we can deal with this one um, what else I gotta say um, the blitzing a lot of people having tr is having trouble blitzing you know you got you're gonna have to mix it up a little bit you're not gonna be able to do the same stuff to a certain extent you see how these guys move back I don't really care for that too much but yeah, I really like a lot of the animations in the game. I like the uh, the overall feel. I like the lightning, the lightning effects, the graphics, the motion blur. Like you can tell a, just a very big difference from this game and um, Man 12 visually. It's a great run right there. Um, it appears that putting your safety in a spot and shooting the gaps, I think that still works, but I could be wrong. Look at this guy moving back and forth. Oh, missed the guy there. And I don't know any um, nanos. I'm just trying some stuff from um, last year's game. Playing with the Redskins, by the way, if you already did know the quarters, I think I'm gonna be playing a lot more passing, um, passing formation this year because it seems like the running is almost—I don't want to say random, but they get off the block a whole lot more. Whoa, they get off the block like a whole lot more than they used to. Um, so I think it's gonna be difficult for people that run strong close. As a base offense, it's going to be more difficult. But I could be wrong. You know, this is just a demo. Oh, um, go another tip. I don't know if you guys have tried it yet, but goal line is so difficult to run. Like the fullback dive, I think I think it's going to be more effective to run the ball outside than actually inside the tackles because they're tripping over people and um, just all type of crazy stuff. You see how that? You see how you just running into everybody right there? It slows them down. So I don't know. I don't, I mean, that's just something to look out for. Like one of the one of the games I played, I was in goal line, and um, I could not get the ball in the end zone. I don't care if I ran quarterback sneak, fullback dive. I ended up having to run a toss actually to get. The, oh my god! I actually had to run a toss to actually um, score the ball. Trying to get on offense. Shit. Th 
three, four, run D. That's the way I play run D on um, NCAA. I dropped this guy back and blitzed him. Just like that. So if they ran it, he'll shoot the gap at the right time. Oh, the ball went right through my guy. That's BS. Sack. And they're gonna go for the field goal. Here we go. Try to block them. We go try to block them on some gay shit. Ah, oh, it looks like they fixed that for the most part. So we finally get the ball. Holy smokes. See if Banks will take it this time once again. I like the juking. The juking is really quick. Um, I don't know how effective it is, but it's really quick. I found the spin move to be more effective. Like one of my NCAA tips, I um, showed you guys to put the tight ends on um, fade routes. And they're still effective in this year's game too as well. I mean, they just get open. I mean, look, <laughs> look at that catch right there. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be, I mean, offense is going to come easy this year, I believe. Um, and then you got the read option from NCAA, um, comeback routes, PA read. The read option is just, like I said, is just as effective. It's probably more effective in NCAA than on here, but it's still effective play nonetheless. Um, post routes are more effective than corner routes. Let me see if I can find a post route. Here we go, right here, the A receiver. Let's go see if we can get him. I don't know if he's running deep enough, but the post route just kills on coverage. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, I overthrew it, but he almost had him. He almost had him. Um, what else is effective this year? Oh, the have the angle route. Is not as effective this year, just like an NCAA. This um, running back, this is what I'm talking about, this running back route right here, is not as effective. But then you still got slot streaks just like that. Wide open for the touchdown. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun, interesting year, especially for the defensive side. I think, I think the offense is at an advantage as always.